Hello friends and welcome to the architecture enthusiast and to the VDL studio and residence, a two-story building designed by Richard Neutra, located in Los Angeles, California, that was completed in 1932. The original house was destroyed by fire in March 1963 and rebuilt in 1966. The building is made up of two distinct sections, a studio for Neutra's architectural practice, and a residence for himself and his family. The studio portion of the building is located on the first floor and features a large open space with high ceilings and plenty of natural light. The space is designed to be flexible, with movable partitions that allow for a variety of configurations. The studio also includes a darkroom, which Neutra used for developing photographs of his architectural projects. The second floor of the building is devoted to the living quarters. The living space is open and airy, with large windows that offer stunning views of the surrounding hills. The bedrooms are modestly sized, but feature built-in storage and shelving to maximize the use of space. The balcony that runs along the second floor offers a perfect place to relax and take in the surrounding landscape. The VDL Studio and Residence is a unique architectural masterpiece with several notable features that distinguish it from other buildings of its time. Neutra was known for his use of innovative materials, and the VDL studio and residence is no exception. The building features a number of materials that were considered cutting-edge for their use in residential construction at the time, including plywood, large glass panels, and steel. The VDL studio and residence features an innovative structural system that allows for a column-free interior. This was achieved through the use of steel framing, which allowed for larger spans than traditional wood framing. Neutra was deeply influenced by the Bauhaus movement, which emphasized the integration of art and design. The VDL studio and residence reflects this philosophy, with its clean lines and geometric shapes that create a sense of visual harmony and balance. Despite its modest size, the VDL studio and residence makes efficient use of space. The building includes built-in storage and shelving in the bedrooms and living areas, which helps to maximize the use of space and minimize clutter. Neutra was known for his custom-built furniture designs, and many of these pieces are still in use in the VDL studio and residence today. The furniture was designed to be functional and efficient, with a focus on simplicity and elegance. Neutra was influenced by Japanese architecture and design, and this is evident in the VDL studio and residence. The building features a number of Japanese-inspired elements, such as the use of natural materials like wood and stone, and the integration of indoor and outdoor spaces. The VDL studio and residence is designed to be in harmony with nature, with its large windows and balcony that offer stunning views of the surrounding landscape. The building also includes a number of outdoor spaces, such as the courtyard and gardens, that create a seamless connection between the indoor and outdoor environments. The VDL studio and residence has become an enduring legacy of Neutra's design philosophy and mid-century modern architecture. It continues to inspire architects and designers today, and is recognized as a significant cultural and historical landmark.